Good evening, everyone. Uh, today is going to be a very short video. <clears throat> going to go over, continue to go over uh, Invest 97L. Went over uh, most of it yesterday. Um, had a pretty long, lengthy video. Uh, we had a lot to uh, cover. Uh, we also talked about storms that could be behind that system moving forward, which is still a very strong possibility. However, today we are just focusing on 97L. Um, this is uh, not, it's 9 18 p.m. currently. I haven't uh, did a video of this late in a little while, um, but this is fun. Uh, let's just get right into it, guys. Um, let's see, share screen. We don't need that. We need tropical tidbits. Um, the good news about if you guys are uh, Debbie Downers about big hurricanes and whatnot, the good news is. For you guys, um, the wind shear looks like it's going to just tear of this storm at, uh, from now on until maybe it gets closer to the U.S. until it intensifies, it, if it's still even a storm at that point. Uh, a lot changed from just yesterday to now. Um, there are more signs are showing it weakening a lot. Uh, this is a satellite imagery. It won't show me. Yeah, just, just for via Atlantic and Pacific. There's a lot of clouds in between the, the Bay of Campe right here. So maybe something to look forward to, look out, look out for. Uh, just And all of this stuff is just from showers today. It's been going by. We've had a couple of cells that came by for Ocala today. Um, but, er, but it looks, everywhere else in the ocean looks pretty quiet. Maybe a couple of storms, but nothing, nothing too big. Um the guy who made Tropical Tibbet's website said this. Let me pull it up. <clears throat> so he said, the both GFS model and the ECMWF have a vorticity seeding within the monsoon trough. <clears throat> the monsoon trough is the point where the high ridge breaks. Um and it's saying as the GPS has a systematic positive TC, tropical cyclone, systematic systematic positive bias near Africa, which is a chance of ra of strengthening, not rapidly intensifying, but uh, rapidly strength, but strengthening. Excuse me. Uh, and I will go into that more deeply here. Uh, go back. And now he also had some tweets from uh, two days ago just saying still has a 50% chance of developing. Still doesn't have a name yet. So we're just waiting until it actually gets a name. It more than likely will. I'm not seeing it be a cat. I'm not seeing this be a major storm, though. Still maybe a maybe still maybe a cat one hurricane. Um, but I'm I'm guessing at most a cat one, guys. Uh <clears throat> let's go to current storms. Even this this will back me up right here. Let me go to the invest 97 now. And the reason why I didn't do a PowerPoint again is because it's a shorter video today. I, the longer videos, I do PowerPoints. Okay, this is, I don't know if you all remember from yesterday watching it. This It was much better to find, much, not really much better to find, but much more convection and much more thunderstorms flaring up, uh, especially on the, le the left side of the storm, like around over here. Now you don't see that too much happening. So, uh. It's breaking up and wind shear is take is taking over at this moment. Um, and that's what you're seeing right right here and there. Uh, let me go to the intensity guidance. And this just backs up what I've been saying about the wind shear weakening the storm. One model takes it now to a Cat 1 hurricane. <laughs> no, yesterday we had like three, four models take it to Cat 1 strength. Uh, it's definitely weakening. Now we're on the downward trend. Most of them have a tropical uh, storm, if not most of them. Yeah, most of them do, not all of them. Uh, some that one doesn't even take it there, uh, it just dies within the 72 hour mark, which is actually more because yesterday this the same model died within that 24 to 36. So it's actually reading and it's going to live longer, I guess. I wouldn't want to pay attention to that model too much. Uh, however, even though these are a sign of weakening, we still got to watch out because, like I said, there's going to be a couple of things behind the storm, which I'll talk about next video. Um, you see more of a northward track. Yesterday, we couldn't really see that too much. It was still a little too far behind. 
uh, it's it's moving pretty fast now. Uh, say about 27 miles per hour. But the middle bar, as you see, it's actually going up, and that means it's weakening. Well, it's going down for a little bit. When it gets past that 72-hour mark, and it starts going up again. So there is a chance of it strengthening before it hits that 96 in within these 72 hours. Within these next 72 hours are signs of strengthening. Could be a Cat 1 hurricane, could be a strong tropical storm. Uh, but then <clears throat> those take it to the north. I think it's going to be a fish storm out of the way, guys. May maybe Bermuda will be affected by it. Um, last thing I want to show you all is the forecast model or the vorticity, my bad. Uh, of where did I have this at? I think it was here. Mm -hmm. Right here. Let's see the region. North America. Yes, but we need we need North Atlantic. There we go. I like this is the best thing I've seen. This is one of my favorite models um, on the site because it shows you this is uh Tomorrow, when, August 10th, uh, as we keep going forward, you see that, you see the, the bubble right here, you see that circle, it's forming, it's getting bigger, so it's strengthening, and actually get, and it, and it continues to get bigger, but then it starts weakening right there, right there. so this high pressure is uh, positioned right above, and uh, there's a lot of wind shear, like right around, almost around the whole side of the storm. And you know, and remember, these storms go counter counterclockwise. So it go they go this way instead of this way. So with the wind shear on the west, the left side of it of the storm, its natural you know flow is to go is to go counterclockwise, and it's taking in all that dry air plus the high ridge that's blocking it from getting that moist air from the top, is suffocating the storm, if you will, and. Watch what's cool about this. The high bridge, the high uh, pressure system is right here now. And now as we keep going, it actually moves, expands actually, but then it moves to the right. Hence the storm moves as moves to the north. The farther right the high pressure goes, there's nothing to block it. So the storm automatically goes up. Cool thing about weather right there. And then as you see quickly dies but it could be this could be a part of the, the storm and something else from canada that's coming off uh, i'll have to monitor that one and last thing before i go uh off the site i wanted to show you this again let's go back <clears throat> this is also one of my favorite sites here's 1008 millibar pressure here's invest 97l uh as we keep going no bar actually goes up for this one. This is the GFS. Now, GFS conflicts a lot with the other models, but GFS, you all the other GFS, um, all the other models have a uh, weakening. I thought this one would have had strength. Oh, there it is. It starts to strengthen right there. It must be a little different than the other models uh, in times of forecast hour. And then as we keep going, it starts, the mill bar goes up again, which means it's weakening again. Uh, and then that high, per, high pressure system, which I was talking about, moves to the right. Hence, the storm moves to the north. And it's not showing anything behind it yet. But there is going to be, it's probably going to update. There's going to be at least a couple more systems to watch under this. Potentially more impactful than 97L. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. And before I leave, of course, let me... Go to the verse I read today on uh, 1 Corinthians, I believe. Yes, 1 Corinthians 16, for verses 13. Be on guard. Stand firm in the faith. Be courageous. Be strong. Short but sweet. I love it because whenever we're feeling not courageous, uh, we always have the Bible, physical, whether it's a physical copy, whether it's online, we always have something, and we have that in our hearts. And more importantly, if you accept Jesus Christ in your heart, we have the Holy Spirit in your hearts to help you. And that's where you get that feeling of, oh, I don't know if I'm doing this right. I think I'm not doing the right thing. That's the Holy Spirit. And then um, once I always go off of the, I always go say this. Once you, um, once you acknowledge 
once you acknowledge what the sin you committed, um, redirect your mindset, refocus your mindset, start over. That's like it's a brand new day because his mercies are new every morning. Like it says, no lamentations. And uh, just keep continuing that mindset each day forward. And I guarantee you got, you will get better mentally, physically, and spiritually. Um, but I hope you guys had a good, um, hope you guys enjoyed the video again. I will be posting maybe tomorrow. Uh, let's make it three days in a row. Uh, if, if I see any drastic signs of the storm, maybe uh, strengthening or even weakening to nothing, I'll, I'll let you all know in the next video. Um, and have the ever storms behind it, of course. Uh, but anyways, I hope you guys have a good night. Uh, this was fun and I hope, and I'll see y'all in the next video.